Hey everyone, Chaotic here and welcome back to another YouTube video. As usual, of course, it's AOPG. <sighs> I really do live on this game, huh? But yeah, uh, today we're going to be checking out the most overpowered devil fruit in the game currently. It is the Awakened Operation Fruit. And when I say, uh, it's OP, trust me, it's OP. There's going to be another video with me facing off against uh, Fire. Um, a person who's on my stream, he's second in command, he's vice captain of my crew currently, uh, he got swiped in like 10 seconds. Man got all the smoke. But yeah, let's get on right into it. First, I'm gonna show you where the island is, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Obviously, you can tell we're on first C, since there's the, uh, this log town right over there. And if you don't have the, the compass like me, or you're too lazy to use it, uh, you can do this. See where the gear for dungeon is? Take a left. I mean a right, uh, yes, and then you basically head this way. You're gonna end up at Thriller Bark, and then right next to Thriller Bark, there's gonna be, look, this right here, see? This is where Thriller Bark is, and then somewhere around here, I think at right at the back of this, is where Judgment Island is. The quest for law does not give that good of, uh, you know, Belly as a reward for actually defeating him, but it's whatever, you know, at least you get the most overpowered food in the game currently as a reward, right? You can't go wrong with that much. But yeah, there it is. Law Island. It's pretty small, actually, compared to some of the bigger ones. But right over here is where you set your spawn point, whatever. I think over here is where the first quest is, 23. And then right on over here, wait, here is where you find Law. See? Awaken Law, that's Kuro fighting him. Damn, I think my crew is hella stacked at this point. Nearly everyone has Lunarian. Jeez. Look at this scrub. Hold on. There you go, text on him. Yeah, after messing around Kuro there for a little bit, right, uh, we need to get down to some basic stuff. First of all, I was looking in the Discord and I saw a lot of people was confused about the sword thing. How it works is you defeat Law, you get, um, it's a 1% chance drop rate to get the true Kikoku, which is his sword. That uh, you don't need the sword from the Law raid at all, okay? You don't need that. All you need to do is kill him, get the scroll, and well, after that, you can start grinding up gems. Also, uh, before I do anything about that, I'll tell you about the gems. If you try to use the scroll while not having operation equipped, nothing would happen, okay? You need to get operation, then use the scroll, and then you unlock the M1s. But I don't think, when I uh, tried it, I wasn't able to um use the sword right away for whatever reason i don't know if you need to unlock the moves with gems first but yeah when i had the sword in my hand i was not able to use it at all and as a matter of fact whenever you get the scroll from him you do reset okay and i'm confirming that now uh unlike what i did with the snake man in the last video you do reset on drop okay and uh, you need 40,000 gems total to unlock all of the moves. Quite a lot, but thankfully the guys over there at um, the, the dev team for AOPG, they increased it to 30,000. So it's not going to be that bad. Although it did take me like a good, what, few hours to try and get that amount of gems. So yeah, because I was AFKing, but who cares. Anyway, let's quickly hop over to second C and we're gonna test out the damage and show you some of these moves. I'll see you there. And we are here at Wano finally. That took forever, but luckily it wasn't that bad because Lenarian. Alright, let's get on right into it, shall we? Let's start taking off all of this stuff and uh give me back those. Nope. 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 And nope. So basically, this is just going to be damage alone, no no buffs, no hockey, no nothing. Just damage. Okay, first thing to mention, unlike the first move, um, unlike the first iteration of Operation Fruit, you can notice that I don't have shambles anymore. Yeah, the trade-off for like this OP farming fruit over here is that you don't have any movement skills, so you're basically just grounded. But lucky for me, if you have, and you viewers too, who has Lunarian race, you can just fly, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're just chilling. Uh, okay, so Operation, 
you're gonna see the first thing which is well the main thing you're gonna need which is the room the R room whatever when you open it yes you do actually uh, damage everyone for whatever reason I have no idea why but yeah pretty OP this it doesn't look that much oh god I'm gonna be dead hold on boop there you go fix that Look how big this is. This bubble is actually big enough to cover all of Lockdown if you're on first C. So yeah, that, that's for reference. That's how large this thing actually is. Not only that, you can probably see that, uh, yeah, I switched out of my thing. Normally with something like rubber or a few other fruits. If you do a move and you switch over to another fighting style, how it cancels a move. Yeah, look at this space. See it over there? Look. I'm a Lunarian flight. I can still fly around in here. It's perfectly fine. I could avoid stuff. Look, I'm on I'm on Goku style now. It's fine. I yeah, it's still there. Two black leg, still there. Hundred million blade, still there. That means you can always keep this thing open. Which is insanely OP. You can just have this open at all times, right? So let's get on right into it. First one up is the Kikoku Cut. This one is just like the sword thing. Damage will be shown on screen. Yeah. There you go. Owie. I heard. Oi. Boop. Boop. Look at that. 42,000. Yay. Owie. Hey, stop doing that. How dare you. I don't even think I'll be able to kill him with it at this point. Nah, I won't be able to. Ah, what a shame. Here I thought I'd be able to. Let's uh, ignore that guy for a second because we're going to move on to the next thing right away. Which is the most broken ability along with uh, Whirlwind. Can you stop hitting me over there? It's very rude. Even though I smacked you with a sword first. Um, next one is going to be called Counter Shock. Everything within this bubble gets hit. Doesn't matter uh, where they are. Just as long as they're in this bubble, they get hit. Check this out. All of them. There you go. Damage will be shown on screen. So... Yep, that, there you go. This is gonna be doing it one more time Shook. again. Boop. There you go. 420 something thousand. Yep. Okay, next one up is Koala Whirlwind. The AoE for this one is actually pretty large. I used to think it was the entire thing, but now I don't actually think so. So let's quickly test that out right now, shall we? There you go. Damage will be shown on screen. And yeah, it didn't hit all of them, it hit them in like a certain area. Also, Counter Shock. Boop. <laughs> it's everyone. I just love this ability so much. Especially with Whirlwind. Oh. Look at that. That. You can just basically spam these two and you kill everything. Like, what more do you need? Look. Look. There you go. See what I mean? We kill everything. And now I'm just using, like, Counter Shock and Whirlwind as well. Nothing crazy. Let's wait for these guys to... Actually, no. Let's go over here. There's gonna be some more victims about. I mean, um, willing participants. It's the three of them right here. <laughs> Next one up is going to be called Amputate. Boop. Ow. Hey, this one actually stuns. Boop. Damage will be shown on screen. And then, yeah. Owie. Try that again, shall we? Boop. There you go. That's what, that was Amputate. Give me my health back, thank you. Everyone can see why I used 100 million blade now so much. Even though now I have two blades, 100 million and, well, this thing. Next one up is called Shock Willy. Boop. Damage will be shown on screen. Also, it kind of, uh, I used to think it stuns them, but no, it does not stun, sadly. Counter Shock, Whirlwind. And Amputate stuns, Amputate being like the longest stun out of, the, out of all of them, I believe. Except for Puncture Willy, but yeah, you will see why that's um, a different thing altogether. So, yeah, Shock Willy once again. There you go. Massive thing right in the center, and then, well, yeah, it shocks everything around. The AoE is actually around the same as the Whirlwind, so it's not the entire thing, but it's pretty OP. And then finally, Puncture Willy, which is basically the combo breaker. Look at this. Boop. Cut. Wait for it. And boop. Damage will be shown on screen. <laughs> Although it's really hard to guess like what the damage actually is because, well, like, bro, you see this thing? Like, look, that's a hundred and, what was that? Like, 
144,000? No, I'm pretty sure that's like 1.4 million. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's basically it for the review for uh, the side of the showcase and whatever. I hope you, everyone enjoyed that because, I don't know, I feel like it was a good one. It was pretty fast and did it in one take as well without having to do like multiple things at once. Hey, come on. Wait, no, come on. There you go. And if people are asking, like, how good is this fruit other than for farming? Like, well, you, you saw how good it is for farming, but, like, range and everything, damage is good. Um, scale of 1 to 10, how good is this fruit? For me, straight up 10. Like, yeah. Um, for others who don't have Lunarian, the Lunarian flight, I'd probably say, I'd probably rate it, like, what, maybe, like, a 7 or an 8, because you still, it is kind of inconvenient to not be able to fly around. But yeah, because I have Lunarian, that's not an issue for me, and this thing does like mad damage, and it is really OP. This is now, Operation is basically now my main fruit. I don't, I don't need anything else. I can just farm with this fruit, I can like beat the shit out of everything in this fruit, yeah. And on, um, for PvP wise, yeah, best fruit. Straight up, just best fruit. Uh, I'll link a card at the top over there, you're gonna be seeing me fighting... It's just a video of me fighting fire and you're gonna see how well that goes. He basically had the same stats in, as me except he has uh, 4 point something million health. So he has like even more health. I, um, I'm i still kind of stuck with the old stats currently. It's, it's not max yet so I should probably mention that before I do anything. Uh, yeah, those stats aren't maxed. And uh, yeah. You're gonna see me absolutely clap fire in that against um he had both mochi and the gum gum fruit which is pretty like highest damaging fruit but the next one we need to test it on is um venom for the high dps but that's that's in another video or something who knows but yeah uh, like and subscribe and take care people good luck with getting this fruit because it was a pain in the ass for me specifically it is but yeah Stay around. Uh, expect like another video or something in a week. A uh, different game though. Anyway, peace out.